Papiopetalum orchid. These are also commonly known as the lady slipper because of the pouch on the front of the flower. In order to be an orchid, a flower needs to have five or six segments, including three sepals, two petals, and a deformed sepal called a lip. The reason the lady slipper is considered to be an orchid is because the sepals on the bottom are fused which is behind the lip there. These flowers are very unique in that they have a pouch on them. The Phalaenopsis orchid, also called the moth orchid. This plant is considered by many to be the easiest orchid to grow in the house. The blooms will last up to three months and they'll flower one time each year. The reason this plant is considered to be so easy to flower in the home is that it requires less sunlight than other orchids to get it to bloom. An eastern or western window with four or five hours of good sun in the early morning or late afternoon is the, the Cattleya orchid. This is the queen of the orchids. One of the most common types of orchids remembered by many as the corsage orchid that was worn to proms and other special events. These large fragrant blooms are favorites for many orchid growers. While they do not last as long as other types, three to four weeks and maybe up to six weeks at the most, the large flowers and variety of colors makes this plant a very special plant. Cattleyas were first brought to Europe in the late 1800s from South America. They were difficult to cultivate at first because they were grown raw. Many of the cattleyas have great fragrance. The Cymbidium orchid. Cymbidium orchids are a common cut flower orchid. They make a nice cut flower because of their size and color and the longevity of the blooms. Cymbidium flowers can easily last up to six weeks. Cymbidiums are a little more difficult to cultivate in the house because they generally are very large. They require a good amount of sunlight, at least six hours a day of mid-afternoon sun in the south-facing window to grow in a home. Cymbidiums love to go outside in the summertime. And once the night temperatures go above 50 degrees, Dendrobium orchid. Dendrobiums mainly come from Southeast Asia. Flowers grow in long graceful stems and last for four to six weeks. Some dendrobiums are deciduous and will drop all of their leaves when they flower. These normally bloom on the canes instead of putting up a flower spike. Dendrobiums can become large specimen plants. The Miltonia orchid. 
commonly called the pansy orchid for its lovely shape and large lip. Viltonias can be easily cultivated in the house and do not require much sunlight to get them to flower. Four to five hours of early morning or late afternoon sunlight is sufficient to flower these beautiful plants. The Oncidium type. Oncidiums are known for their long graceful stems and multiple flowers. The blooms will last from four to six weeks and they come in such a variety of colors in orange and red and yellow. Some of the intergeneric oncidium types also get large round flowers that are very full and up to five inches across. Oncidiums are fairly easy to cultivate in the house in that they only require four or five hours of sunlight every day and a southeast or southwest window would be. Hi, we're here at Waldor Orchids today in Lakewood, New Jersey. My name is David Off, and we're going to show some repotting techniques today. First thing we're going to show you is a brass of all cattleya. And uh, usually with the repotting, what you want to look anywhere from three to five or even more than that. But you should eliminate the oldest portion because as you'll see when I cut this, I'll show you the roots on the older bowls. Stay as close as you can to the oldest back bowl. 